Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel and as we get into the new year, I've got a new amplifier to show you. So this is from NuX and I've talked about NuX before, uh, at least a couple other times I've checked out some of their small battery powered amplifiers. And this right here is their new sort of do everything portable amplifier. This thing is packed with features and the features that it has in particular I think make it perfect as a sort of coffee shop performance amplifier or really any amplifier where you're going to use it in sort of a more intimate venue and in particular when you are the only musician and you need um, a, you know a, a rig with a lot of different features to kind of fill the roles of a lot of different people. Okay so why do I say that exactly? Well let's look at some of the features of the amplifier. Now first off like I said this is a portable amplifier. It has a large internal battery this amp can run for seven to eight hours with one full charge. And this is a loud amplifier. It's a 30 watt stereo amplifier. So it has a big modern sound, especially with a lot of the effects. This is not some little small tinny sounding battery amplifier like we had years ago. Now beyond that, there's a lot of other uh, really convenient features for doing a live performance. So this amplifier, unlike a lot of other battery powered amplifiers and this kind of stuff, this has an external speaker jack on it. So you can plug this into like a big cabinet or something if you want a little more, you know, move a little more air, right? Also, it has an eighth inch stereo output jack on the back panel. So you can use that for headphones or for plugging the amplifier into a PA. So the amp can be used as it is in like a small to medium size room. And then if you're in a larger venue where you're going to be plugging into a PA, you really need to make some noise, you can run this direct into that. Now this amp is actually more expensive than some of New X's earlier amps. This one's about $400, $450 right in that price range. But I think the price being that high is made up for by the amp being so sort of self-contained and the other, uh, the other accessories that it comes with. And in particular, it comes with a foot switch. And you know, to be clear, NuX sent me this amplifier, but when you buy this thing, it includes all this extra stuff with it. So it comes with a foot switch, two button foot switch, and you can use this for you know, switching patches, or there's a looper function on the amplifier, which you can use with the, uh, the foot switch. And then the other big thing is it has its own wireless transmitter. And NuX uh, has some smaller amplifiers with the same, uh, same thing. I think like the Mighty Air, Mighty Air uh, comes with a wireless transmitter. And this one here comes with it as well. So you get the wireless transmitter, you get the foot switch, you, you get the amplifier, and there's even a carrying handle that can be attached to the amplifier, you know, so you can easily carry it around. And that's in addition to the power supply and all that usual stuff. Now this is an app-based amplifier. So to really get all, you know, the full benefit out of it, you connect your phone to the amplifier. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to edit all of the different patches and, you know, save new sounds and so forth, edit the effects. And then there's this whole huge other section where you can load backing tracks on it. There are some built-in backing tracks that, that are already included in the app. And then, of course, you can load your own stuff in there. There's also a built-in drum machine. And you can create a patch through there and then share it with somebody else that owns the same amp. And you don't have to pay extra for the app. It's a free app that you download and install on your phone. So you can kind of get a sense here, right? You charge up the amplifier, maybe load some tracks on your phone, get your patches set up, and then you just take the amplifier with you and you go play some kind of like a coffee shop type gig or something like that. And everything is self-contained. It has everything you need to do the performance. Now, if only it would play the guitar for you, that'd really be nice. Okay, so there's a lot more to talk about with this amplifier. In particular, I wanna go through uh, editing of the effects and adding and removing effects and the different amplifier models that they have in this, in this setup here. But let's just get in to the demo because I wanna give you guys some samples of what the amplifier sounds like. Now for the demo, I'm gonna be using my Sterling SR50 guitar, and then uh, I will be recording this through the, uh, the emulated output. So this would be the sound you're getting plugging this into a big PA or something like that, okay? So let's go ahead and plug this in, listen to how it sounds. And real quick, guys, 
If you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool new guitar gear and also staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in. This is the Mighty Space. Let's listen to how it sounds. <laughs> Okay guys, so I want to talk a little bit more about the features on this amplifier and let's talk a little bit about the app and editing the effects and that kind of stuff. Now, one thing that I, I want to point out ahead of time is that you don't really have to have the app or the phone with you to use uh, the amplifier. But basically the app and having it on the phone there, that makes it so you can edit patches and you know send patches to other people and edit the backing tracks and that kind of stuff. But once you have everything set up, you don't have to have the phone connected all the time. And you can still use this as a traditional amplifier because you have all of your traditional uh, amplifier controls up on top here. The input's over here. Uh, you've got a couple of buttons for connecting the wireless transmitter, but you've got your gain, volume, bass, middle, treble, presence, a reverb, a dedicated reverb control, and then a master volume control down here. And there's a button on here that says channel. And basically what that is, is the amplifier has seven preset slots that you can access through the channel button. So it's kind of like having a seven channel amplifier, if you will. And so you can keep hitting that button and it turns a different color depending on which preset or channel you're on. And you can cycle through those seven, seven different presets just through the amplifier control. So you don't, you don't have to worry about, you know, there's a particular sound you want to get to and you can't switch to it without the phone or something like that. Like I said, the phone is really just for editing and setting up the patches, but to use them, you don't need the phone. You can just use the amplifier. So no, I know there's a lot of guys out there that don't want to have to worry about, you know, having their phone connected all the time and 
you know, that kind of stuff, you know, with a Bluetooth connection, if you take a phone call, is it going to come through the amplifier or something like that? You can really just use the phone for setting things up, and once you get it all situated, you can disconnect the phone and then just use this as a traditional amplifier. Okay, now let's take a look at the app here. So you've got a few different screens in this app. This first one here is basically your editing page. So you can choose different amplifier models. And like I said earlier, there are seven different patch slots on here uh, that you can access through the amplifier. But there are many, many, many different amplifier models that you can choose from. This just gives you a little bit of an example of that here. Now, aside from the amplifier model, you also have all these different effects, right? You've got uh, modulation effects, you've got things like overdrive, you have dynamics effects, so compressors, that kind of thing. And then of course you have reverb, different kinds of delays, all kinds of different stuff. And you have a lot of freedom with how you set up the effects, not just can you control the parameters of the effects, but you can control what order you put them in. Now, one of the high gain patches I was using in the demo there is based off of a Friedman amplifier. I really love how that sound came out. And of course, I put some reverb and delay on it just to give it that sort of classic guitar hero sound. And many of these effects are stereo, like there's some delays and flangers and that kind of stuff on there. And it's a stereo amplifier, so you get the stereo effect on the amplifier, but that will also translate out if you're plugging it into a PA because you've got a stereo output on the back of the amplifier. So if you plug it into a PA with a stereo connection, then you're going to retain that stereo separation when it goes out to the PA, which is really cool. So I think this is about the third NUX amplifier that I've checked out over the years as far as these portable ones, right? And this is definitely like their flagship now. And it's been cool to see the progression of these different amplifiers because, you know, I don't think any of them would ever have been considered toy amplifiers, you know, something like that, that you couldn't take seriously. They've always had cool features, but they've gone from amplifiers that maybe you would just use at home as a practicing amplifier, or if you wanted to take a little amplifier with you if you're traveling so you could practice on the road or something like that. That's the stuff that the earlier amplifiers were sort of like, but this here, to me, this is an amplifier that you could really make some money with, right? Like you could take this amplifier, again, to like a coffee shop type gig or a restaurant or some kind of a venue where, you know, you're there to entertain the people and you are the, the main person doing it. You know, it's not like a big band or something, but like a person with a guitar doing the loops or with the backing tracks or something. This is, it has all of the features that you need for a situation like that. And it just, it works, it's very easy to use and it sounds good. Okay guys, but let me know what you think of the amplifier down below. As usual, I'm gonna have links for everything I was talking about in the video. I'll have a link for the amplifier plus the guitar I was using. That was the, uh, the Sterling by uh, Music Man, Ernie Ball, uh, SR50, great guitar, roasted maple neck and all that stuff. Anyway, I will have links for all that stuff down in the video description below. Guys, thanks a ton for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.